Hello everyone. I'm running a little crazy tonight. I'm just out of it. Sorry about that. I thought I had my papers that I wanted to do and then I thought, oh wait, it's 4th of July. So, um, it's not the papers that I wanted, but oh well. Um, I was looking for red, white, and blue, but I do not see red, white, and blue anywhere. I don't know why. Anyway, how is everyone tonight? I hope good. I'm getting up my uh, comments here, getting it all situated. Um, again, I'm just kind of all over the place. I've got stuff all over my desk. Um, oh, I'll show you that card. I just made that um, yesterday, or two days ago, I guess it was. I have a new great niece, and uh, still haven't gotten any pictures yet, though, so. But I'm very excited. Okay. I think I've got enough room here. Gosh, I've got labels and scraps and earrings and ooh, bows and yikes. I'm just going to set it all over there. Okay. So how's everyone doing? Good, I hope. Um, I'm doing well. Anybody got plans for the 4th? Um, we do not. We do not do things on the 4th. We don't do travel or camp for any of the... Uh, holidays. Hello, Robin. How are you? I hope good. Um, uh, and Scott, I know you're listening, Scott, because you told me you listen and you hear my voice. So, um, yeah, so things are going well. Um, a couple announcements. Um, tomorrow, June 30th is the last day for, um, mm -hmm, the starter kit special, uh, $155 worth of product for $99, uh, free shipping. So make sure that you hop onto that. If that's something that interests you, you'd be a part of my team and we'd have fun crafting together. And then, um, also, the DSP, um, tomorrow's the last day for the 15% off most of the DSP that's on sale. Um, I'm just still trying to get my... Um, mm -hmm. Comments up. So, I'm just, right now, I'm making a card base so I can have some card bases for my uh, cards. And I, I don't know about this one. Um, might not use that one. Might have to go with my original thought, which isn't always a bad thing, is it? Okay. Oh, my computer's so slow. Yikes. All right. So um, I guess I will point you to my work service. Hello, Vicki from Arizona. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, tonight, I'm going to show you a fun fold, um, which I just absolutely love. My friend Deb Smeek uh, showed me how to do it. And um, I'm just going to take it out of the package so there's no glare. Um, and I will point you to my work surface so you can see it there. Um, my comments still are not coming up. Hello, Sharon. How are you? Good to see you. Um, I really want to get my comments up before I point you to my work surface, so I'm going to try to do that real quick. Hello, Sue, new grandma. How are you? Uh, how's Maddie Moo? Is she there too? I hope so. Um... Yeah, so 15% off DSP and the starter kit special ends tomorrow. And then, uh, then it'll be July. Can you believe it? July. 
which isn't a bad thing because we can have Christmas in July. Well, we can have Christmas in June too, but Christmas in July just sounds like it rolls off your tongue, right? And I know some of you are like, oh, Harlena, you and your Christmas. But it's true. I love my Christmas. So July starts uh, my six months of Christmas classes. <laughs> Sharon. Um, so my first class is July 24th from 3 to 5. It's a Monday. And it's at the studio in Ovid next to Subway. And we are going to make some beautiful cards. And you get, uh, it's a product-based class. So you pay for the class. And then you get all the product to take home with you, too. So that would be fun. And my comments still aren't coming up. So it's just spinning. So I'm going to try to reboot that. Um, yep. So And then I have my card class right after that, the same day, July 24th, from 6.30 to 8, which we will make eight beautiful cards um, to each of four different designs. And um, that one is a $25 class or free with a $30 purchase. Um, also, postage is going up July 9th, so be sure to get uh, stock up on your forever stamps. It's going from 63 cents a forever stamp to 66 cents. So hopefully um, you can stack up on stamps if you haven't already done so. All right, I'm going to point you to my work surface because my comments are not cooperating and I don't want to keep you any longer than what we have to. Although it is fun hanging out with you. I do love hanging out with you. All right, I'm going to point you to my work surface. And all right, I think I better plug in too in case I don't want to lose, lose power there. Okay, so the card we're going to make, um, we think we came up with a name for it, is called um, Pinwheel Surprise. So this is made with a boho blue card base and um, a boho blue shimmer paper that I embossed. I think you can see it. Um, I can't see it because of my laptop's not up. But look at this pinwheel. It's made with a six by six piece of paper. And when you open it up, there is a beautiful design inside. So I am going to show you how to make that. It goes just like that. And I decorated the inside as well. So let's, let's start with a half sheet of cardstock, which is a basic white, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. I'm going to take my bone folder and just get a good crease on that. And set it aside. And then I want, I want a piece of pool party. And I'm going to measure that at five and a quarter. Hmm. How about four? Let me make sure this is five and a quarter. Yep. I, I, I'm trying to get the most real estate out of this piece of cardstock so I can get two out of this if I cut it this way. So four by five and a quarter. And our paper trimmer does cut up to sixteenths of an inch. So it does fourths, it does eighths, and it does uh, sixteenths. Then I'm going to take a piece from my Inked Botanicals card, uh, card pack. There's 48 in there. And I need a six by six sheet of cardstock. Okay. So these colors in it are uh, Col Col Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. So there is a little bit of pool party in there. So I'm going to try to pull that out with my pool party card. Okay, I'm going to try my comments again real quick here. 
um, okay. We want to score this, so I'm gonna get my cutting blade out of the way. Did I, can you see my cutting blade? Yep, right here, okay. So I'm gonna score it at one and a half on all four sides. So what's neat about this paper trimmer is from the score line, or this score track, to the edge here is one and a half inches. So you can score that just like that, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, and one and a half. And then you have the difficult decision well, let's not go there yet. Let's cut all the corners off. That's what we're going to do first. We're going to cut all the corners off. What I was going to say is you have the difficult decision to see which which piece, which piece, side you want for the inside and which side you want for the outside. I love my paper snips. My paper snips and my paper trimmer are my two favorite items in the whole entire Stampin' Up! catalog. Um, the snips are very sharp for one, and they come to a point so they don't split your paper at the end when you cut all the way through. And I'll show you what I mean by that after I get done with this. All right, save these four squares because you could use them for a really cute card afterwards. All right, let me show you what I mean about pointed scissors, the snips, and the other ones. So I have this piece of white paper. So I'm gonna try to show you in the camera, okay. When I cut this, it cuts, and it leaves it at a point. Very crisp, very clean cut, okay? When I use other scissors, I cut and it like rips the end of it. Do you see that? I hope so. Um, my, my comments are coming up slowly but surely. So, it really does make a difference um, with what kind of scissors you have, okay? All right, set that aside, put these away. All right, so I want this, I think I want this to be the inside and this to be the outside, if you will. Um, Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna fold these all in. I'm gonna use my bone folder too. Just get a nice crease on that. And you fold them all in. Okay. Then I'm going to take I'm gonna fold this up and then I'm gonna take the up top right corner and fold it back on itself. Like that. Okay, do you see that? Maybe I'll do that, okay. Then I wanna do the same thing on all four sides. So flip it up and then fold it back on itself. Increase that. And then again, for the third time. And then again, for the fourth time. Okay. Then I'm going to take my stamp and seal. Um, 
I would use Seal Plus, but um, I don't have any close by me. Um, you could use tear tape or you could use green glue, um, but you want something strong because this is a mechanism that people are going to keep opening and shutting. So you want to make sure that it um, holds together well. Again, I'm trying, I'm still trying to get my comments because I want to see what you guys say. Okay, so we have that. And we need a piece of white. Uh, here's a piece of white. Two and three quarters by two and three quarters because that will lay inside of this square, this folded mechanism, perfectly. Okay. All right. All right, so this works. Um, see? Oh, I didn't put any glue on that one. You guys are probably telling me, Arlena, you didn't glue it on the last one because I can't see comments. All right, so you fold that, 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 and this, and you tuck this in like so, and there you go. You've got your little pinwheel mechanism. Cute, huh? Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Now, this pool party piece that we cut, which is four by five and a quarter, it's pretty plain for me. Um, I tend to not like, not that I don't like them, I, I, I don't prefer a smooth surface. So I'm going to um, emboss it. So let me see what embossing folders I have real quick. Oh, actually, I know exactly which one I'm going to use. I'm going to use my basic 3D folders. They're from the um, online exclusives. And it's the hash marks. So I'm going to take this over to my uh, stamp and cut emboss machine. I cannot use my mini, which is right in front of me. Um, because this is too big, too wide for it. So I have to use my, um, yay. Um, I have to use my, um, big machine. All right. All right. So now, now it's paused. So I'm. All right, maybe when I come back, my comments will be there, but right now it's frozen. Okay, I'll be right back. You, We can still talk. I can still, well, I can't still hear you, but you can hear me. So I'm just going to um, run this through my big machine and the 3D embossing folders take the gray plate number four Oh, yeah. If you hear it pop, it's no big deal. It's normal. Okay. So for the reveal, ta-da! Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, Your quilting days. That's right, Sue. Oh, I'm so glad I can see the comments now. Um, yeah. You're going to have a ball with this, Sue. Oh, my goodness. Everyone is. It is so easy. Okay. All right. And then what do I want? I want to bring my card base back in. I'm going to glue my little pool party piece down. Cute. Oh, I need a piece behind this. Um, I think I'm going to do Calypso Coral. Oh, let me get another piece of Calypso Coral. Oh. 
And just like that, we have it. And I need a piece. Three, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So everything's going to layer. So the base of this pinwheel is three inches square. So the three and a quarter just puts a nice frame around it. All right. All right. Um, yeah, I can put this down. Um, because my paper is not directional, I don't have to worry what's top, what's bottom. But if you do have directional paper, you will want to be mindful of that, that you'll want your top of your paper. Obviously, when you open it up, you want your top to be your top and your bottom to be your bottom, okay? And you just fold it like a box, tuck that little corner in, there you go. And then I'm going to really put this on good. And I am out of seal, so I go to my next one, just like that, I have one ready. Hello, Mary from California. How is it out in California? It is 83 degrees here and hazy. Uh, we, our air quality is still very poor um, due to um, the, the fires in Canada. I was gonna say Florida. I'm like, they're not in Florida, they're in California, or they're in Canada. And I'm gonna put this right up here, like so, okay? Then I want, then I want <laughs> a label of sort. Um, nope, too big. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'll take that scrap that I have and I'm going to use my back on your feet. Um, the air quality is bad in Virginia too. Starting the heat 93.3 degrees clear skies. Oh nice. Not the 93 degrees but clear skies. That's nice. Oops, <laughs> yeah, sure, Marilyn Sue. So back on your feet, um, it's a cute little set. Actually, it might be retired now. Ah, I could grab another set that's not retired. Um, let me do that. Let me, let me, does anyone have a set that they're interested in that they like to see? Um, hmm. I thought I could just grab one real quick and it's not happening real quick. Oh, I got one. Playing in the rain. And that has a die set too, so we don't have to fussy cut. All right. So, I'm going to do the turtle. And I'm going to do um, um, I think I want to go to my go-to greetings. I don't want oh happy day and I don't want rainy days are better with you. So I'm going to my go-to greetings. This could not be a better name. I go to it all the time. Um, let's do Let's do, 
Thank you. Um, let's do thinking of you. Um, happy birthday. Um, we'll do thank you. All right. I think I'm going to use black, memento black. And I've got my two and three quarters by two and three quarters piece. Remember that? And I'm going to stamp my little turtle on there. Oh, he's so cute. So cute, and then I want to do just a strip. Um, probably three quarter inch. Three quarter inch. Just a piece of scrap, Just ink up my Thank you. Again, you just tap, 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 and put it in there, just like that. I'm done with my ink there. I'm going to take out my stamp and scrub and my stamp and scrub mist. This is what I use for my red rubber stamps or my Klingon stamps. And it cleans the rubber and also conditions them. So my one side is a wet side and my other side is a dry side and the stamps are all done. All right, so I can put away my turtle. Yes, the, Mary, isn't it the truth? The go-to greetings are just, they, they, I hope they don't get rid of it for a long time because they just there's happy birthday thinking of you just a note thank you hello and they're different sizes so um and different fonts all right i don't know why i said i have the dies for that because i don't think i want to cut them out i think i want to keep them i'm gonna just snip off the edges of the thank you like so Make it a little more fancy down there. I can throw that away. <laughs> now my laptop is flashing at me. Oh my gosh, I can't win. I can't win. Uh, I told my husband, I said, I don't care if you go with me or not, but when I'm done with my Facebook Live tonight, I'm going out to eat. So you can come with me or not, because I'm not making dinner. And I didn't make it ahead of time, so... Um, he says, you're going to go out after your live at 9 o'clock? I said, no, it'll be a quick one. I don't know how quick it will be, but we're, we're trying. Okay. Um, let me do... Uh, okay. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but we'll try it. I don't know if I want light old olive or light mossy meadow for him i'm gonna take a piece of scrap um that's the mossy meadow and not much difference i think i'm gonna use the old out the light old olive we'll see okay um I gotta see where I want his color. I hope I do this right. So I'm just coloring in. I hope you can see me. I moved it up a little bit. Oh, I colored his arm. Oh my goodness. We might have to restamp him. 
No, nope, that isn't what I wanted to do. I want to restamp him. I totally messed him up. And I already colored, so it bleeds through because it's an alcohol base. So I'm just going to do another one. Two and three quarters by two and three quarters. There we go. Get out the stamp again. He was so cute, too. I don't know why I always get thrown on how to color him. Um, I think because I start in the wrong place. If I started with his head, because he's going to be green, he's not going to be orange, it would help. Who likes to color? Um, I love to color. Today I made, um, yep, what did I make? I made flowers today at the studio. They were three levels, so three different sizes of petals, um, times 27 of each a color, and they were five colors. So do the math on how many petals I put together and how many flowers I put together. But they sure were gorgeous. And they all had an iridescent rhinestone in the center. So, and they were all 3D. Oh my gosh, they were so pretty all together. Looked like a flower garden. Hey, that's my kind of flower garden because I can't um, grow anything to save my life. This is Calypso Coral Dark. Ooh, do I want? Well, I already started. I got it. I committed. I've got to go with it. It almost looks red. Ooh. Should have done this on scrap paper first, too. It will look okay. You could even have a blue turtle if you wanted to. You could have any color you want because it's your design, right? I do a lot of stamping and color while watching TV. Yes, yes. So, a uh, um, I asked before, but I don't know if everyone was on. Does anyone have plans for the 4th of July? We stay home. We don't camp during the holiday weekends. Too many crazy people out there. But, uh... And we used to like fireworks, but we don't like those anymore. Our, we have a dog that, Rufus, my buddy, he is a big boxer. He's 90 some pounds. He's on a diet. All three of our dogs are on a diet. And um, anyway, he, uh, he is very afraid of loud noises, thunder and kabooms and all that. So... We tend to take care of him that night and just hold him and pet on him and love him and yeah, all that good stuff. All right. All right. Now I want to open this up and I'm going to put this right in here like so. Okay. And I'm not going to use dimensionals because... Um, for mailing purposes, I don't want it too bulky, and there's already a lot of layers here. Alrighty. Close him up. Tuck that corner in. I will pop this up with dimensionals, though. Oh, those are my mini. I just threw them. 
I used a lot of dimensionals too today. You stay home too? Yeah, we stay home too. Yep, yep. Actually, Nancy, um, I told um, center or off to the side? I think I like off to the side. And then we got to do something on the inside. It's too plain. Um, I asked um, Courtney if she wanted to... Um, Go to Frankfurt for the fourth for the fireworks. Of course, we have to have a dog sitter, but um, but that would be okay. I said, Aunt Nancy and Uncle Lyle would love to see you and meet your new boyfriend. So, hey, we'll see how that goes. I don't. Uh, no, Nancy, don't worry, we're not coming. <laughs> That she is so busy. Her schedule is so crazy. But one day we might come up. Not for f for fireworks, but um, I'm trying to think what side I want in there. Okay, for the inside, do we want this? There'll be a piece of white in there too. So it'll be like that. Um, do you want the one that's more predominantly Calypso Coral or the more... Um, just the flowers, the cute dainty flowers. Um, it doesn't look like it goes with the white, but there is a white line that is going through that, kind of like a wash. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I'm waiting for the camera to catch up with me. Calypso Coral, hi Nancy! Coral, all right, it's the coral. Coral side. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. Um, five and a quarter by four. And again, if you have... <laughs> that side is directional paper. Bummer. Okay, so I'm going to take another piece of that paper. <laughs> I should have started talking before I cut. If you have directional paper, make sure it's going the right way. Oh, too funny. I think I need to do a series on how to use your scraps. Don't you? This is... I've got so many scraps. And I've got a dimensional backing stuck to my chest. Isn't that cute? I'm glad you couldn't see it. Those dimensional backings go everywhere, I tell you. Okay, and then I want this to be, I want the white piece to be in there um, four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So it's a little bit smaller so you can see the paper a lot more. Oh, I should have stamped on this before I glued it down. Um, I'm going to stamp. Okay. Some little flowers from the Playing in the Rain set. And... Goes right down here. Yay. And then I want to color those. And I'm going to use the light Calypso. Wow, that almost looks pink. I like it. I love pink. Pink's my favorite color. I got some new glasses. Well, I had to take them back already. Um, the my old eyes, I have progressive lenses, and they put the they put the bifocal in the wrong spot. So I was seeing bifocal everywhere. I'm like, oh, I can't do that. Then I'm gonna use some daffodil delight, some light daffodil delight. Um, 
So they're going to take them back and uh, put them in the right spot. Um, I'm just going to do a little white daisy there. And then I'm going to take my light old olive and color in some of those leaves. Anyway, my glasses. Oh my gosh, you guys, are you ready for this? Uh, I'll clean the bathroom to ready the house. I knew you would, Nancy. I would never, never drop in on you unannounced. Or anyone, for that matter. Isn't that cute? Um, I have to show you. What color, and Sue, I think I told you already, so you can't play but what color do you think my new glasses are, the frames? What color? And and think, think colors, stamping up colors. Okay. What color do you think? What color do you think? I will get the color. So you will know. Robin, boho blue. No, no, they're not boho blue. Um, actually, my glasses that I had the last time were blue. Not boho, but but um, they are bubble bath. So I said, oh, I love the pink ones. And they said, well, actually, they're called lilac, which if you put this next to purple, it looks purple. But if you put it next to pink, it takes on the pink. So um, my new glasses are bubble bath. And I'm so excited about them. So anyway, here's the card. Isn't that so cute? And then when you open them up, there he is. He's saying thank you. All right. Boop. So we got that one. And I want to show you one that I did before. Uh-huh. When I was camping. My first one I did. But look look at the iridescent boho blue. Um, yeah. Paper. It's shimmer paper. So pretty. And this is made with the Cottage Inn um, materials. And this stamp set is made with the Paper Pumpkin this month. So I just stamped a vase with flowers in it. Cute, huh? So very different, but the same. So what do you think? Thank you, Lisa. Good to see you, kiddo. Um... I am going to uh, point you back to me. Hello. So um, again, the uh, starter kit special tomorrow is the last day, $155 uh, product for 99 free shipping. And um, it's $155 of your choice. So the DSP is also 15, most of the DSP is 15% off. So you'll want to make sure, thank you, Mary. Um, you'll want to make sure you can use that as part of your starter kit too, special. So you savings on top of savings. And then um, um, my next class is July 24th. My six months of Christmas series starts July 24th from three to five. And my um, card class is from 6.30 to eight on the same day. You can get those classes to go. So if you're not local, you can purchase them and I will ship them right to you and email you the tutorial. And um, Market at the Moon is, ooh, is, my June calendar is up. Look at this calendar that my sister made me. Isn't that sweet? She stamped a different um, image uh, for every month. And um, July, and then the box of them, of all of them are there. July is all the red, white, and blue. Yay. Go hooray for the red, white, and blue. Um, July 12th, I will be at Market at the Moon again at um, uh, Blue Moon Ice Cream in Ovid, Michigan. 
and um, the ice cream is to die for. And <laughs> isn't it sweet, Robin? And um, there, the market is like a farmer's market and it has all kinds of vendors, local and small. And um, we love to support our local and small, don't we? So other than that, I think that's it. And um, you guys all have a wonderful evening. I have no idea where I'm going to dinner, but I am going to dinner. I'm telling you that. And have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Have fun. And happy birthday, USA. Talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye-bye.